and welcome to this new tutorial for lecture four in dynamics uh, from Hibbler's book. Uh, we have here a problem, uh, a projectile. Um, we have here a ball going from point A to point B with an initial velocity of 10 meters per second. And uh, we have here uh, two angles, um, uh, 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Now, uh, this is the range, this is the X uh, component of the, of the displacement of this projectile. And uh, as you can, as, as it, it is said in this question, um, the, uh, the, the ball is thrown and caught at the same elevation, implying that the Y is the same. Uh, if we put the, um, the the origin point at the point of low, uh, at the point at, at point A, uh, uh, y would be equal to zero. In other words, y A equals to y B equals to zero. So uh, in, in, in this question, it is required to prove that the range is the same regardless of the. Uh, uh, of the value of the angle of the uh, of, 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 of at point A, uh, I, uh, uh, um, um, another uh, the, the the two values of theta is 30 and 60. So at 30 and 60, the range would be the same. Um, so first, we need to start and we uh, with the with the value of the velocity in the x and y component. We need to resolve this velocity in, uh, in the x and y direction. So we have here v a equals to 10 meters per second, and uh, v a x is 10 cosine theta. This is the x component. V a y is equal to 10 sine theta. This is the y component. Uh, uh, placing the origin point at point A, like this, uh, would help us uh, identify the initial points uh, of the of the of the of the projectile. So at uh, at A, at A, uh, y A is equal to zero, and x A is equal to zero. Uh, and um, at point at point uh, B. Um, and um, y b would be also equal to zero because it said as a, as I said again as I said before uh, at the, this is at the same elevation and um, x b uh, would simply be equal to the range. Um, now uh, traditionally we take the uh, the equation that describes uh, the x component of the motion of the projectile. Uh, we have here this, uh, the, 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 the equation that says x equals to x naught plus a v um, uh, um, <coughs> x naught times t. Now, um, to make this uh, to make to make this relevant to our case, we say x b is equals to is equal to um, x a plus v x a times t or v x doesn't really matter. Um, so x b here simply is r x a is zero v x a is this this value ten cosine theta uh, times t. So R would will, will be would be reduced to this 10 cosine uh, theta times t. Um, uh, now we move to the y component of the 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 motion. Y here is equal to y naught plus v y naught times t minus half g t squared. To make this relevant to our case, y b is equal to y a plus v y a t minus half g t squared. Now y b is equal to zero, y a is equal also to zero, plus v y a or v i y v a v a y ten sine theta t minus half g t squared. Um, and this would be reduced to zero equals to ten sine theta t minus half g t squared. Now, so now we have uh, two equations. 
we can solve them with a variety of ways. Uh, one of the ways is to uh, describe um, the, uh, the, the the problem that we have uh, in, in, from in these two equations um, as a function of theta. Uh, by the way, we can uh, further uh, simplify this to be uh, in this form. 0 equals to 10 sine uh, theta minus half gt. So we can take this and say t is equal to r 10 cosine theta. We can take uh, this and uh, say um, t is equal to um, uh, 20 sine theta over 9.81. Uh, so we can equate this to this to come up with a, a unified relation that doesn't depend on time. It just depends uh, to build a relationship between the angle of the launch and the range of the projectile. So saying that R 10 cos over 10 over 10 cosine theta equals to 20 sine theta over 9.81 uh, we can say r is equal to uh, 20.39 uh, sine theta cosine theta so this describes the range of the projectile as a function of theta uh, so we can see here if we substitute the angle of the launch to be 30 degrees we can have R 20.39 sine 30 times cosine 30 and this would be equal to 8.82 meters. If we change the angle of the launch to be uh, 60 degrees, R would be equal to 20.39 sine 60 times cosine 60 and this would give us the same range. Thank you for watching.